Welcome back to the amazing STATS 244 video series. This is our final on the one sample t-test, this time using the confidence interval method. All right, as always, we are going to state the hypothesis. It's always our first step, and we are going to read and decode the problem um, as we do this. So, um, the cost of making a movie. During recent years, the average cost of making a movie was 54 Point eight million dollars. This is what we are assuming to be true. Again, we are talking about averages. So that tells me that this looks like that. We're going to drop the millions. Just keep that all in that unit. And our alternative, this year a random sample of 15 recent action units had an average production of 62.3 millions with a variance, ooh, that's a tricky one, of 90.25 million. At the 0.05 level of confidence of significance, can it be concluded it costs more than average to produce an action movie? So can we conclude that the mean is more than that average? Again, we do not put more than 62.3. These guys have to match and they come from our assumption. All right, so there's that. Um, variance is important because in all of our formulas we are going to want the standard deviation. And we have to remember that the, um, the root of the variance is the standard deviation. The root is the standard deviation. So when I take the square root of this, then I'm going to get um, what our actual standard deviation is. I'm just going to write that down real quick. So the types of things you really need to pay attention to when you are decoding the problem. So the square root of 90.25 is equal to 9.5. And again, these we're just keeping the units in millions each time. All right, now we're going to build a confidence center around our sample. Um, so when we do this on the TI-83 uh, or the 89, whichever one you want to choose, you go to your stats. You're going to go to your test in this one. If you're on the 89, you're going to go to your intervals tab. And you are going to look at T interval. And we have data. We do not have data. We have stats. Our sample mean is 62.3. Our uh, st sample standard deviation, member standard deviation, not variance, is 9.5. Sample size is 15. And now we need to figure out what our confidence level is. Well, notice that we are looking at um, this significance, 0.05. And remember, that this was um, more than average, so it's a right-tailed test. So we have 0.05 here, and we want to know what the confidence interval would be for the middle part of this. So think of there also being a pretend 0.05 down here, because confidence intervals are always asymmetric. So if that's 0.05 and that's 0.05, then this would have to be 90%. So we want a 90% confidence level. Your calculator input should look like the following picture. So again, you can see that we have that 0.9 confidence interval down here, right there. And the rest of the data is all put into here. It's all in millions. When you hit calculate, you get the following confidence interval, 57.98 million. 266.62 million, right? 54.8 million, which was our hypothesized interval, is down here. It's outside the interval. When something's outside the group, you reject. Therefore, we can conclude that it does cost more than average to produce an action movie right now.